Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Voidal, Voidal, Fluke. And today we're going to be doing a little label profile on Live Fast Die Records and a little collection update. But we're going to be blasting Chicago's mighty cyanide, death, doom, and destruction, Hell's Headbangers set with the massive box with the demos and seven inch material on here awesome awesome stuff best eight dollars and 88 cents i've ever spent seriously their fucking black friday sale still thank you hell's head hell's headbangers that was an amazing generous sale but yeah, fucking cyanide, death, doom, and destruction. So fucking vicious. The American bolt thrower. And speaking of vicious, this is going to be a little collection update, but mostly just revolving around Live Fast Die Records. But I was driving in the car a couple days ago, going to my niece's 16th birthday party, and uh, I just, real quick, went on my Instagram and I saw that Headsplit Records had just posted something saying hey we have five copies of uh, the new A Feather and Bone cassette so I immediately go to the website thinking well I missed out the first time I'm gonna miss out again oh no I got lucky this time A Feather and Bone Bestial Hymns of Perversion Oh my god, or bestial, I'm not sure, bestial, bestial, I know I've heard people say it different ways, but this is spelled bestial, so I'm gonna call it bestial hymns of perversion, of feather and bone, oh my god. Like, I remember hearing their demo and being like, oh, this is cool. I had no idea this is what these guys were going to evolve into, like, because if you listen to their demo, in comparison to this, it sounds like two different bands and fucking wow. I need to get the LP because I had no idea I would be playing this as much as I have. No joke, I've played this around six times already. All the way through, it's just so fucking good. Like, wow. But, Live Fast, Die Records. Now, this is an awesome DIY label based out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Awesome, awesome stuff. Mostly, you know, celebrating sludge and misanthropic doom metal. Awesome stuff. If you're a fan of, like, grief and I hate God, stuff like that, this is the label for you, seriously. They just fucking kill it with bands like No Funeral. Um, Ulkum, I'm not sure if I said that right, it's U-L-K-U-M, they're fucking great by the way, but um, uh, Circadian Ritual is probably one of my favorite bands on the record label, and Kevin from No Funeral, who is one of the main dudes I guess, behind Live Fast Die Records, he's also in No Funeral awesome awesome dude with an awesome awesome taste in music these five tracks right here this is some of the best doom you have probably never heard seriously befallen by Car uh, circadian ritual holy fuck this is mesmerizingly good every single part about this release is just the holy shit so on the money when it comes to the type of doom metal i like it's just it's fucking perfect like you know it moves at a snail's pace but never gets boring the vocal delivery is amazing it fucking straight up at times sounds like a sonder like just straight up like it's some of the most beautiful yet devastatingly heavy doom metal in the game right now and just an amazing cassette release here this sounds great it looks great and i actually have some download codes for you guys that's gonna go over here for a minute but look at how awesome this download code is but um yeah press pause real quick and snag befallen 
because this is fucking great. And I think you actually have to go to, to redeem your code, please visit http livefastdirects.bandcamp.com slash yum. So, in case that's blurry for you, that's what that says. But yeah, snag this shit, because you're gonna fucking love it, trust me. I instantly, after one listen, just fucking rewound it and listened to it again. This is some of the best doom that, you know, like I said, you don't really hear too many people talking about that just completely blew me away, and I'm pretty, you know, picky when it comes to my doom. So, for this to, you know, really, really, like, grab me by the balls and be like, yo, this is fucking sick. Yeah, it did that. And Elysian Desire, the instrumental track on here, is just fucking gorgeous. But Solomon's Temple, Pyramids, Befallen, just amazing, amazing stuff on here. Every track's just great. Seriously, Befallen by, uh... Circadian Ritual, fucking A-plus doom metal. I cannot recommend this enough. It's fucking some serious doom and gloom, but like, you know, there's a light at the end of the rainbow, it sounds like, on this release, and it's great. For as, like, you know, sonically depressing as it can be at times, it's also like a fucking shimmer of hope when it comes to doom metal like it's just so fucking good sounding and it's one of those albums that gives you a range of emotions like from parts that legit like make you feel like sad and then to parts where you're just like fuck yes this rules like that's what this is all about and to me that's what makes it so fucking special and uh, Circadian Ritual just, you know, to me, bring their A-game here on uh, Befallen. And, yeah, just a modern Doom masterpiece. Like, again, I'm really surprised more people are not talking about this, but hopefully in time. Now, next up, I have two copies of the same release, but one has an extra song. And it's two different formats now. I'm not sure if you're going to get the black flag cover here, but here is a download code for the mighty no funeral, mankind is carrying fit for nothing, the 7 inch. Oh yeah. Two amazing tracks of misanthropic sludgy doom. If you're a fan of grief. Come to Grief, I Hate God, Dystopia, Nuth Grush, Corrupted, etc. You are going to love No Funeral. This band is so fucking good. Like, from seeing them live for the first time to their split with Livid, which I will be getting to. This is some of the most vicious, hateful fucking sludge in the game right now. Just absolutely amazing stuff this sounds great on 7 inch and it's sick because one side's 33 rpms and one side's 45 it's just awesome really sick artwork and i'll show you the original artwork on the cassette release as well but again live fast die records fucking killing it amazing artwork and stuff as well fucking great lyrics I, I love this release so goddamn much the artwork on here is by Eric C. Harrison and yeah everything's written by um, my boy Kevin uh, Peppercorn fuck yeah Kev I did not know that no funeral was all you like written and stuff uh, hold on one second all songs written and performed by Kevin Peppercorn. Fuck yeah, Kev. I did not know that. Hell yeah. And this is on red vinyl. Badass. Because the artwork is absolutely gorgeous. But I love how, like, the A side's 33 RPMs and 45 on this side. 
At first I thought that was like maybe a like, you know, typo, but fucking sick. Again, like just I noticed there's only two songs on the um, LP version, but wow. It's so fucking good. Like make sure you grab that download code. Seriously, I'm not fucking around. And here is the cassette release. Mankind is carrying fit for nothing. You get an extra track, and that is Black Flag's My War. And wow, is it a kick-ass cover. I love these fucking three tracks. I listen to this tape so goddamn much. DIY till you die. So fucking well put together. While waiting for the 7-inch and stuff, I mean, I... I knew I was going to get this no matter what because I love the band, but I knew this was real limited, and then when I got a copy, I was just like, fuck yeah. Same thing with the 7-inch. Uh, I'm going to send Kevin uh, 12 bucks and stuff, but yeah, for right now, it's just I'm completely blown away by how good this fucking shit is, but yeah, this is pretty much the same as the 7-inch, just, you know on cassette and with an amazing black flag cover i fucking love the black flag cover on here it's seriously great like they nailed it they completely out of the fucking ballpark and i love this as well mankind is carrying fit for nothing amazing stuff again like i said just total misanthropy at its best and finally, this is an amazing, amazing split release. No Funeral alongside Minnesota Doomsters, Livid. And I like the limited releases here because it's not like some ridiculous number, like 500 copies. Fuck yeah, and I'm sure, I hope they sold out of these. This is so fucking good. Livid False Hope is probably one of the best overlooked doom songs of 2017 where no funeral also completely completely decimate things with their fucking stylings of just misanthropic sludge metal so goddamn good with tracks infection and disease brought by depression amazing shit by no funeral and uh this is just an amazing amazing split release both bands bring their A game to the table, and this is on some heavy duty 180 gram vinyl. And I love the artwork here. As fucked up as it is, it shows this like drug addict and all his like symptoms and fucking shit, track marks, all that gnarliness that you come to expect from misanthropic, sludgy, awesome metal. And yeah, same thing on this side. No Funeral and Livid bring the heaviness here. And both bands definitely complement each other. And this is... Yeah, th this got my number one split release of 2017. And rightfully fucking so. Livid and No Funeral really fucking kill it here. And like I said, they just have that, you know, image and vibe that I love so fucking much. Just crusty and very just, you know, like you have no hope in this world. And that's the way life is sometimes, where Livid bring a more, you know, mystical and more just doom-laced, you know, fucking sonic approach to false hope here with this robed figure and whatnot, just amazing, amazing stuff. Seriously, one of the most beautiful Doom tracks in 2017. Livid and No Funeral Split on Live Fast Die Records. Just great, great stuff on here. Awesome DIY label. Mostly, like I said, putting out limited releases, Doom, Sludge, just awesome stuff like that. Kick fucking ass. And we've been blasting Cyanide, Death, Doom, and Destruction. So fucking good. Hell's Headbangers. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys grab those download codes. One more. Press pause. Because I'm about to run out of time. But thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. And as always...
Hells!